2019 Verizon Vikings training camp continues here in Egan, Minnesota. We have a special guest. It's Robert Mays from The Ringer. Now, Robert and I are chatting on our way over here. I said, what's interesting about our team? He said, not the defense. I'm like, dude, we got well, like one of the best defenses in the NFL. So he wants to talk offense. Well, that's been happening for a while, though. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. defensive players, we know. We know that how the defensive scheme works. It's something that you've gotten used to because there's yep. been so much continuity here. So known quantities coming into the season, are, they tend to be less fun to talk about. Right. The offense, there's been so much turnover everywhere. I mean, think about the offensive line, new players, think about the scheme, new personalities, they're doing a lot of different things. So I think that's definitely the stuff about this team that we know the less, least about and could definitely kind of, you know, determine their fate because it's different than it's been in the past. Right. When you think about the Vikings offense from a production standpoint, points per game or yards per game or maybe their forte, what would be your hope for the Vikings offense to be able to team up with this defense and produce a lot of wins this year? I think they just have to be above average. I think that's that's really the goal here is that it's to be a top 12 offense. You don't need to be the best offense in the league, but it's about really kind of picking up your end of the bargain. And I feel like with all the changes that they've made, that's possible. You know, you have a scheme that really fits what Kirk Cousins does well. It's something that you know, he played in a cousin of it in Washington, and pun not intended, but it, it's something he understands. The running game should be better just based on the way all the pieces work. So I definitely think that that could be on the horizon for them. And if it is, and this defense is a top six, top seven unit again, that has the makings of a contender. It really does. Yeah, and it's interesting. I mean, you you, you have a pretty good pulse on the division. You're going to go around and see all the teams, I would imagine, in the, in the north or at least a few of them. And when you think of it from that perspective, especially the Bears and the Packers, who a lot of people are going to be looking at as strong contenders for the division title this year, those are sort of teams that we associate offense with them. But here is a team we associate defense with this team. Do you think the Vikings can compete in the division with that being the case? Yes, I absolutely think so. I think that those three teams, it's toss-up to me. I think all of them are 10-win teams, possibly. You know, you never can predict some of this stuff. With the Vikings, it's they don't have the depth on defense they used to. Injuries would be more of a problem now than they've been in the past. There's so many kind of aspects to it that are hard to predict but if things go right if these teams are the best versions of themselves all three could win the division all three could be in line to win 12 games and that makes it arguably maybe the toughest division in the entire league it, it probably does because you also would say the lions arrow is pointing up i mean the lions are not a a team that everyone's just going to trounce on they're going to be competitive this year as well um, so i think that's a good point um, on the offense for the vikings Thielen and Diggs a duo that has caught a lot of national attention. I'm sure you have an opinion on them. But when you watch them out here at practice, what do you see? Two of the best receivers in the NFL, period. I mean, those are two guys that neither of them are pedigreed players. They weren't first-round draft picks. They're not these big, fast, physical guys. And watching them, it makes it so much more enjoyable because the nuances of the position are where they thrive. Yeah. I mean, Diggs is just one of the best pure route runners in the NFL. Thielen is so good at understanding spacing and how to use leverage, and it just – it really makes you appreciate the position in a different way because you know you can watch a guy like Julio Jones and it's fun, but that's someone who thrives so much on his physical gifts and these guys don't. They just understand how to play yeah. and I think that's really what makes them football lovers players. Tell the folks they, they saw your lower third, your name, The Ringer. Tell folks where they can find your work and what you guys do at The Ringer. The Ringer is we do sports and pop culture. I mean, it's a weird, weird place. We do a lot of different <laughs> stuff. I mean, it was Quentin Tarantino week this yeah. week. Cool. So you can go find a ton of stuff about Quentin Tarantino. You can also read me talking about Super Bowl contenders. Right. So it's theringer.com, and uh, there's pretty much something for everybody. Great stuff, Robert. We appreciate your time, man. Yeah, Thank you. Yep. It. All right.